channel AC Girl Lana Living here and if you click this video you want to see exactly how I installed this Love Me Blunt Bob wig. Now this wig was sent to me by Love Me here but y'all this wig is bomb for real like it wasn't even hard to achieve and honestly I think this is like the most naturalistic bob wig I've ever installed like this looks like it's growing out of my scalp it's giving real doobie wrap layout looks okay and i'm absolutely living for it if you want to see exactly how i installed this 14 inch bob wig stay tuned to the video but before we get into the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos by me y'all the wig videos are coming in okay sis is getting them coins and sis is giving y'all looks okay i'm giving y'all the truth on this hair and it's just bomb first of all it's like really silky the texture is like straight it's human hair but it looks like it really could be my hair. Like it's giving a nice blowout with a doobie wrap. And I just can't stop putting my hand through the hair or even looking at myself inside the mirror. Because this really was a huge slay. And this is a 4x4 four four closure. And y'all, this is looking like real frontal vibe. So you guys, stay tuned to the video. Let's get straight into it. So again, this wig was sent to me by Love Me Hair and I love it because it is gorgeous and it is so soft. So I'm just going to show you guys how the package actually came. So inside the package was the wig. It was inside a hair net and also inside a nice bag. And I love Love Me Hair because they give you so many gifts, okay? They don't just give you the wig, they give you accessories too. So as you guys can see, they gave me a wig cap which you could never have enough of and they gave me another bag full of goodies some of the goodies were a satin edge scarf and I love those to lay down my edges they gave an elastic band also that you could use to tighten up your wigs and they also gave a hair clip and this is so cute because it has their brand on it they also gave some tweezers and you guys they gave an actual edge brush and comb which i will be using to fix up my baby hairs last but certainly not least they also gave some hair pins some bobby pins you can never have enough of them they also gave you a little pamphlet with some how to care for your wig and also their return and refund policy so immediately when I took the hair out of the bag, y'all, it felt so soft, like really, really soft. And it actually has an elastic band on it already. It has some combs, two on the sides, one in the middle, and then also one at the back and also some adjustable straps, which I love. And y'all, this hair had no shed, so that's really good, like no shed out the pack. So right now I'm just going to put on the wig and fit it on my head and y'all I use the elastic on it and it is so secured like you don't even need gel or glue or anything because it stays on its own. So what I'm going to be doing first is I'm going to go in with my Damani collection wax stick and I'm going to put this on my hair especially by the part area just to help define the part and to keep all of my flyaways down and then I love to go in with my hot comb and just press in that wax stick and melt it so that my hair can be tamed and so what I'm going to do is put my hair back now because I want to focus on the lace okay that's the first thing I'm going to be doing so I'm going to go in again with my hot comb and I'm just going to hot comb the hair now back so that it stays back because I don't want it in my way I don't want to cut off any of the 
baby hairs that they have or the frontal part of it because I'm going to be using that for my baby hairs. So I'm going to be using my got to be products that's my gel and my spray but before that I'm going to go in with my concealer brush that has some makeup on it so I'm just going to use this to kind of mark where I want my gel to lay and I'm going to slide that back and I'm going to go in with my gel and create a nice thin layer of my got to be gel and then I'll go over it again with my spray and I'm going to do it so that it's kind of like clear I don't want too much and then I'm going to go in with their pan flip like sometimes I use a blow dryer but right now I'm just like I'm going to use this pan flip and I'm just going to fan it so that it gets dry and tacky so that when I put my lace on it it just stays So once my gel is dried and tacky and nice, I'm just going to lift the lace up and bring it forward and I'm going to press it down with my comb and I'm just going to comb it in just to make sure that it's all secured and then I'm going to go in and actually section off my baby hair. So this wig, it kind of looked like it had a whole section already, like it was so easy to pick out the baby hairs from the actual rest of the hair and so I'm just going to bring that forward and I'm going to get that out of my way because it's time to lay the wig down. I'm going to go in with my wax stick once again and comb that in and then I'm going to go in with my hot comb of course because those the duo like I don't just do one you have to do both of them to get that nice silky result and so I'm going to take the baby hairs now and I'm going to twist them together just so that it's less work or less hair inside my face and I'm just going to section that all by itself and now I'm going to put on my love me edge scarf this is just going to help my wig to melt down in and to be laid and while I'm doing that I'm going to kill two birds with one stone okay so I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to put in my argan oil heat protectant and shine and I'm going to go in and start flat ironing my whole hair so I'm going to start with this half of my head and I'm just going to spray on the argan oil mist and gloss and then I'm going to section it and just start with the flat ironing process because I want the hair to be real silky, real smooth and, and I want it to be very straight for this look. So once I'm finished flat ironing the hair, I'm going to go in again with my wax stick and this is just to give it a more final look, a more sleek look and I'm just going to press down with my hot comb because I want it to look extremely flat like look at this, this looks so good and you could definitely see the difference from this side and that side like it just looks more glossy, it looks more sleek and it looks more silky okay. So I've already flat ironed the next half and I'm going to take off my edge scarf and I'm going to start dealing with my baby hairs. So what I'm going to do now is actually cut my lace. I'm going to take all my baby hairs. I'm going to twist it together again and I'm going to put it back but I'm going to put it back with my comb so that it stays back just to help weigh it back and I'm going to go in with my scissors and just cut my lace okay. I'm going to go in zigzag motions and if you see it's kind of like white at the top not really white but that the lace isn't fully down it's completely fine sometimes that happens when you cut it and you like pull it back a little but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go back over that with my got to be spray and you guys are gonna see that pretty soon so all I'm doing is putting the spray on the back of my edge brush and I'm just gonna press it in and voila that does literally all the work right there 
Now you don't see no lace, it's giving pure scalp, it's giving a realistic hairline. And so what I'm gonna do is deal with my baby hairs now. So what I wanna do is kinda take the middle parts from each half of my head and I'm gonna cut that off because I don't want any baby hairs in the middle. This is to create more of a frontal look. So I'm gonna take out that part and I'm only gonna use my sides on my baby hair. So you see that now I took out all the middle, I only have my sides. I'm gonna go in now and cut that baby hair and I'm gonna create some swoops. So I'm gonna go in with my got to be gel. You can use the spray if you want, but I kinda like to use the gel and I'm just gonna put the gel on the hair and then use my edge brush, which Love Me gives you and I'm going to just comb it in and brush it in and create that nice swoop. So once my baby hairs are all done and they're looking real juicy, I'm going to go in with my concealer brush with some concealer on it and deepen my part. So I'm going to go in and just put that everywhere, especially in the front part, as you guys can see, because I do have on a lighter cap and I don't usually bleach my wig. So I just go in with concealer. And as you can see, that gives it a nice natural scalp look. And I'm going to go in with the duo once again. And this is gonna help to give the hair a nice, soft, flipped look at the beginning part. I absolutely love to do this with all of my wigs. So I'm just gonna comb the hair out. So once I finish combing the hair out, I'm gonna take the hot comb one last time and I'm just going to press it down to create a nice nice flat look okay because your wigs ain't slayed unless they flat looking okay it have to be extremely flat so that's what i'm doing right here and this is basically all it takes to get this look with this wig if you guys are interested in this wig the link to this wig will be inside my description box below along with a discount code i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next upload